I greet you in the name of Jesus and I remind you today that you are blessed more than you know. I have the joy of bringing us God's word under the theme Destiny Family and uh, my focus is the gift of family. The scripture I want us to consider is uh, Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 then from verse 21 up to verse 25. The Bible says in verse 18 of Genesis chapter 2, The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I and God himself said, I will make a helper suitable for him. So the Lord caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woo-man, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Adam and Eve at that time were both naked and uh, they felt no shame. Three things I want to share with us on the gift of family. Number one, God gave us family so that it becomes a place of companionship. Secondly, it becomes a place of inspiration. And thirdly, it becomes a place of procreation. Today, as we reflect on family, we want to measure family um, under those three uh, callings or, or standards right at the beginning. A place of companionship, a place of inspiration, and a place of procreation. Right from the beginning, it is God who saw that man was alone and man was lonely. One of the challenges of today is loneliness or people feeling alone. And God saw that need very early in the life of this Man. And today, if you're alone and you're lonely, I want to say God can see that need. But he went beyond that need. He created a woman for the man that they may come together and they may become companions. And I really thank God for this genius of God because Adam could not find companionship in elephants, giraffe and all, giraffes, and the other creatures, even birds. And although he named them, he could not find companionship in them. And therefore, God, the originator of family, creates a woman for the man. And he does it from part of the man's flesh. Amazing. So they can be of the same gene. They can be true and proper companions. So it's in God's plan, the gift in the, and in the gift of family, is companionship. Are you experiencing that companionship in your family? That's an area to always work on and it is possible to experience companionship in the family. Uh, secondly, God gave this gift as a place of inspiration. You realize after God had created the woman and the man woke up from his sleep, he got suddenly very inspired. He had never been inspired like this by the animals or by the trees and all the other material world that was around him. But when he saw the woman, I believe because of the craftsmanship and the way God made the woman, uh, she was looking amazing and looking wonderful. He got inspired and he got up and he said, wow, this is now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman for she was taken out of man. There is just something about family that's very, very inspiring. And every time you come back to those that you know, those that are part of your family, those are part of your country or your nation or your neighborhood, there's just something within our system that wakes up and is inspired again. I have seen people who have been out of the country in the diaspora for a long time. When they come back, get to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, and I meet them there with others, as they are coming through from the inside and coming out back to the country, how excited and inspired they look just by being part of the country. And therefore, God created family for inspiration. Is your family a place of inspiration 
Adam was inspired by Eve. But finally, of course, a place of procreation. Nations are born out of families, a cradle of the nations. And therefore, God wired Adam and Eve in a way that they would actually re reproduce. And uh, a little earlier in Genesis chapter 1, from verse 26 to 28, you find that uh, he commanded to go and fill the earth. We celebrate, let's celebrate today the gift of family. How is your family doing? God's plan from the beginning is that it will be a place of companionship, a place of inspiration, and a place of procreation. God bless you as you build family, as you invest in family, and uh, as you pray for your family today. May God expand your borders. May God bring you together in the family. And anything that comes again as God's plan for the family, may it come crumbling down in the name of Jesus. Amen.